you're going to sit very comfortably cross-legged uh, if you can sit in lotus posture uh, that is also good uh, but it's important that you sit comfortably and um, sit with something against the back for example against the wall if you have a straight spine and ability to sit with a relatively straight spine uh, without having your back against the wall that is also good so the important with the sitting uh, is that you want to have your spine straight so that you can breathe this is just the purpose of the sitting and there are many ways to sit so that your spine is straight but you don't want to be sitting like this because if you sit like this uh, then your breath is hindered so you want to be able to sit very comfortable and breathe unhindered and what you're going to do is you're gonna focus on your breath throughout the meditation in breath out breath you can listen to how the breath sounds like so your mind you take it gently on your breath don't over focus on your breath like I have to think about breath I have to think about breath I have to think about breath oh my god now now my mind went something somewhere else oh uh, my meditation failed and then all of this is mind all of this is mind Just gently take your mind to the breath when your mind wanders away you observe that now you were thinking other things and then you take your mind slowly back to the breath it wanders away it's okay you take it slowly back to the breath then you wander away for five ten minutes thinking about some problems in your life it's okay you take your mind slowly back to the breath and over time you will you will learn that you you will learn observations that you observe that I observe now that my mind went there and I observe that I am very worried about this particular thing in my life and that's why I'm thinking about it. You just take the mind slowly back to the breath. The entire uh, focus of the meditation is your mind. The entire Sufi path, the inner path, the tariqa is your mind. It's all about your mind and you want to access the light within your mind the spirit so you your mind is like this when you take it slowly back to your breath it's gonna stay this is gonna be like this and it's going to stay and when your mind is still your thoughts are still that is when you approach uh, uh, the destiny of the meditation which is uh, emptiness or fana where there is mo no mind there is only spirit you can achieve this if you practice consistently practice every day if you miss a day or two that's okay but try to practice every day if you are a beginner you can start little, start with 5 minutes, or 10 minutes, 11 minutes. If you really want the meditation to give effect, you have to, uh, the golden time in my uh, own observation is between 15 and 20 minutes. Because if you practice getting your, your, your mind back on your breath, for 15-20 minutes your mind starts to steal and you become the breath it is the breath that is real if you want to access this you have to do it a little bit longer than 5 minutes but 5 minutes is okay as a start it's very important that you sit comfortably and your thoughts, you're gonna have a lot of thoughts when you meditate take them lightly uh, don't be afraid to think let everything come but don't overthink things and don't overthink meditation it, it is easier than you think that is the thing here we are dealing with the mind and the thinking and the thoughts we want to still it all I'll take it back to the breath
gently, slowly. If it wanders, it's okay. It comes back. Your intention in the meditation is nothing. You don't, you don't have any intention. Yeah? When you start the meditation, your intention is nothing. You don't want to achieve anything. You don't want any makam. You don't want any enlightenment. You have nothing. You just want to be. And the method is to focus on the breath. And when you start focusing on the breath, you can listen to the sound that the breath does. And if you listen very carefully to the sound of the breath, you are going to hear one of the, one of the secret names of Allah, of God. Five minutes every day, ten minutes every day, miss one or two days a week is okay, but try to do it every day. If you miss too many, then it's not going to be sustainable, then your mind is going to take over. What you're going to feel, I just meditated for 19 and a half minutes before I made this video. What you're going to feel is, your mind is going to reboot, your thoughts are going to reboot, like a computer that is crowded with, it's going to steal. And when you have done it for a while, you don't. it's going to be difficult for you to be one day without meditation. Myself, it's difficult for me to be one day without meditation because I can feel how my mind starts. You know, I want to have this still. You're going to feel too many in inner peace. That you're going to feel. You're going to feel like your thoughts are going to ease a little bit. You're going to feel calm, tranquility. And if you, if you do this long enough, you can experience fana, or uh, the, the death of the mind. It's not completely true that the mind dies. It's more like stillness, the stillness of the mind. And then you're in the present moment, completely in the present moment, in the reality of the here and now. We have no intention in this meditation. There are other meditations where we specifically start the meditation with intention of dealing with our fear or intent to solve a problem or gain a type of knowledge or access uh, something or meditate where we want to communicate with ancestors or, or saints, the awliya or something like this. This meditation we don't have any objective. We don't want anything, we don't want to achieve anything. We just want to sit. And we just want to breathe. And if our mind goes away, we go back to the breath. We sit very comfortably and we relax. And if the body tickles, we observe that the body tickles. If we need to adjust a little bit, we adjust. Take the mind slowly back to the breath. This is a meditation technique with the goal of Fana uh, in the levels of Ihsan the goal to achieve the nothingness of the mind and access the spirit hopefully this is helpful Assalamu alaikum peace be upon you